Now I welcome Commodore Mahmudul Malik, BN, Managing Director, Bangladesh Shipping Corporation. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Chief Guest of today's session, Mohammad Abul Kalam Azad MP, uh, His Excellency, Ambassador of European Commission to Bangladesh, distinguished guests, colleagues, and fellow very time participants, overseas representative also, and ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum and very good afternoon. Uh, at the very outset, I extend my sincere thanks to Exponent for arranging this such a program because in future, basically, the crew standard, the equipment collectively contributing to enhanced green shipping would be the deciding factor to operate our seagoing platform all over the world. And that would be a great challenge for us. And certainly, the nation collectively, collectively is pursuing for that. And therefore, I intend to talk a little bit about eco-friendly activities of Bangladesh Shipping Corporation. And collectively, what should be our course of action, particularly for all the flag carrier of this country. So, ladies and gentlemen, today I stand before you not only as representative of Bangladesh Shipping Corporation, but as a proponent of our shared responsibility, the protection of our precious ocean and invaluable maritime environment. These are basically collected known as global common because everybody has got due share. At the same time, all the nations have got equal responsibility to maintain that one. As you know that Bangladesh Shipping Corporation was established in the hand of father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman on 5th February 1972, which was only 25 days after of his homecoming. So you can visualize that how visionary he was, that he could develop such a colossal organization within, within the shortest possible time, considering its prospect and future opportunities. And that's how we are growing and developing and contributing to national economy significantly. As you know that the uh, only uh, national flag carrier ocean going state road shipping company in Bangladesh, we understand the immense impact of our operations that may have in, uh, on the maritime environment. Please note that we are not just carrying cargo, we are also interested to maintain the well-being of a delicate ecosystem and the countless life it bears. With a deep understanding, we have embarked on a mission to navigate through a green horizon without making any disturbance and harm thereof. As you know that the IOMO has developed its many protocols, especially the first protocol they have developed in 1997. And 2020, the carbon emission has been reduced to only 0.5%, then to, uh, from 3.5%. And the mid-term development will take place from 20, third, to 2023 to 2030, where we have to reduce further 40%. And from 30 to 50, we have to reduce further 70%. And after 2050, the carbon emission has to be zero. Then the ships will be able to only operate on the ocean. Our commitment to environmental sustainability is multifaceted and very comprehensive, encompassing, eco-friendly, and every aspect of our cooperation. We are keen to comply all eco-friendly protocols, not only in our own orders or any part of the globe where we keep our footprint. Therefore, we are also ambassador of a nation where eco-friendly activities play a substantial role. And now I intend to share a few activities, what BSC is catering, and at the same time I'll give you also some glimpses that what is our future plan to maintain green shipping. Firstly, that is current eco-friendly activities that BLC has engulfed. The first, the low sulfur fuel. The Bangladesh Shipping Corporation is now using low sulfur heavy fuel, which uh, the sulfur contained only 0.05% confirming the IMO protocol in our fleet vessel. And that is significantly reducing the acid rate formation, rain formation and safeguarding marine life. Additionally, we are actively exploring alternative fuels for our future platforms like LNG, then biofuels, and certainly at this moment of time, we are also using dual fuel engine to contribute to the green shipping. Now, another option we do have that is embracing energy efficiency. We meticulously control engine RPM following the energy efficiency design index that has been set to our every ship. That is basically part of our ship energy efficiency management plan. That also recommended by uh, IOMO and other maritime organization. As you know, to gain your speed, if we increase the expenditure of fuel, certainly the advantage you got, get uh, a substantial amount of unburned fuel remains. 
and that creates basically carbon emission. So if you minimize, if you make a good plan, if you can utilize your fuel uh, significantly, certainly the emission would be reduced significantly. So that plan we do have and we are incorporating. And at, the, at this moment of time, many countries, they are also generating that type of engine so that it can maintain the energy efficiency design index. Control the emission of nitrogen oxide, that is which is most harmful effect to the environment. We are also keen to limit the emission of nitrogen oxide to the atmosphere by complying nitrogen oxide emission policy using latest design engine, which is ensuring the quality of air for coastal communications and beyond. Another equipment we are using that is called ballast water treatment plan. Very, this may be very, very common to mariners, for others may be new. Recognizing the delicate balance for the maritime ecosystem, we have equipped our vessel with ballast water treatment plan. This system eliminates invasive species, including the organism that could disrupt local ecology, ensuring the safety and health of our ocean. Already many countries of the world, many ports, they have enforced some restriction. If ships do not possess this ballast water treatment plan, they cannot bring their ballast and they cannot discharge any water over there. Absolutely, those are prohibited. Oily water separator. We are consistent in our commitment for prevailing oil spills. Every vessel in our fleet utilizing oil water separator to remove oil contaminants from bilge water before discharging. Therefore, our ships are saving the sea from oil pollution. There is another equipment for oil tanker that includes oil discharge monitoring equipment that is very close to oil, oil water separator. Our chemical tankers employ utilizes oil discharge monitoring equipment, that is ODME, to ensure that no oily cargo residue pollutes to the, to the sea. Then we have got also CRS treatment plan, STP. We follow the obligatory requirement to have efficient STP or sewage treatment plan to convert the human waste so that it does not pollute or infest the seawater. We are committed not to discharge untreated waste to any, our, any of the maritime environment. Eliminating harmful materials from ships. Recognize the dangers and harmful effect of the asbestos that you have seen also in the video clip. That we have made our entire fleet and necessary equipment free of asbestos. We do not have any asbestos at this moment of time. Every item from the stores to onboard undergoes rigorous certification to ensure compliance with the vital safety measures. And at the same time, we also follow ISM, International Safety Management System. So these are some steps that, that, which I have elaborated. We are taking to make the eco-friendly environment through our engagement. We understand that our journey towards a sustainable future is ongoing. And we are constantly exploring new technologies and innovations to further reduce our environmental toxicity. Now a little bit future course of action, that what we are planning to engulf so that our carbon emission and other environmental threats are be, will be substantially minimized. As I've said before also that energy efficiency design index, we are planning to incorporate that is a comprehensive plan, energy efficiency design index in our new ships, which are going to procure shortly, that, that is uh, which are in the process of acquisition. So the engine as well as the plan should be well integrated so that itself reduces the carbon emission. Now we are actively looking for alternate fuel like methanol and sometimes the dual fuel engine will, will continue and one of the fuel has to be absolutely carbon free emission. That we are planning to use methanol and other fuel in our future ships so that no sulfur emission take place. Propeller blade retrofit. We'll use propeller blade retrofit that is fixing a small propeller behind the big propeller to get better propulsion output. You have seen that the Jotun representative, he has, shown, he has shown a vicious cycle. Then if, an, if your paint is not good, that will create friction with the water. And ultimately, you have to use more power and more, you have to emit more carbon. So every activity has got a link up. If, you, if, you, if your equipment and if your crew are not well tuned up, if you do not have a comprehensive plan, every activity is going to contribute and will pose serious threat to our maritime environment. Ship design and power management will have improved design of ships like evolution in ship's curvature, advanced hull design, utilizing appropriate paint, redesigning of bulbous bow, they're introducing energy efficiency, electrical equipment, mechanical wind seal, and so on. Many options are being developed. Even now ships are thinking to have mechanical seal, sail, then uh, solar panel. Many alternative options like, like hybrid vehicle 
Ships are also trying to utilize many multi-systems so that at least they can reduce the use utilization of fossil fuel. But however, effective collaboration is very, very important. We believe that true environmental change can only be achieved through collaborative actions. We actively collaborate with various international maritime or main organizations like IMO and others to share best practices and infuse uh, environmental regulations. We are also engaged with state agencies and classification societies to raise awareness and foster a culture of shared responsibility. We are optimistic such collaboration will have wide bandwidth to integrate in upcoming days. Now, I'm at the end of my uh, speech. The future of maritime transportation must be conducive to maritime environment. That is very, very uh, corresponding relation it has got. As Bangladesh Shipping Corporation, we are determined to be at the forefront of this initiative to ensure a sustainable oceanic division for mankind. We'll continue to invest in cleaner technologies, promote good practices, and collaborate with stakeholders to ensure a healthy and secure ocean for greenhouse uh, next generations to come. And let's stand together, united in our commitment to a sustainable future where the vast blue dubbing of our ocean remains a source of livelihood and key to prosperity for all. Certainly, such planned capability enhancement will ensure well-being of the people and of this safe planet. Thank you very much. Long live Bangladesh Shipping Corporation. Long live Bangladesh. Joy Bangla. Thank you, Commodore Mahmoudul Malik, for your beautiful speech and good presentation on Bangladesh Shipping Corporation and the upgradation of Bangladesh Shipping Corporation.